morning guys, we're gearing up, we're going to here, moving dirt, driveways, front entrances, etc. We're at one of my first sites, I got him marked for locates. Paint the ground so we can get our locates. Should have those in a week's time. Uh, I may be doing another little project for us to this one. I just finished marking another driveway. We got a lot of driveways this year. Um, we gotta turn the radio down. So this front entrance we did uh, last year. Um, we also did a whole bunch of work in the back. This is a new build. So yeah. You guys see us do the driveway and the seating area in the front and the walkway, etc. Alright guys, we'll get some more running around today. Let's get at it. Oh, has it been a busy morning. <clears throat> I have been running around with a chicken with my head cut off. Guess what's out of the truck? Oh yes, but we got something inside of the truck. Alright. It's been a very, very very busy spring so far. Let's see what we have in here, shall we? That was easy. picked up a brand new transfer tank. Now this one is going to be a lot better for me because of this. I've got a toolbox in this one. Which is a definite must. That's for the vent and the tank. What do we got here? So it's UWS transfer tank. Here's the installation. The tools required, a drill, a ratchet, a socket set, a tape, a measure marker. Hmm. Yeah. So fuel transfer from pump uh, GPI. Uh, this one's only eight gallons per minute, but that's all we need. Um, very, very important. I see a lot of guys set these things up without a filter kit. You need a filter kit. So first thing first. vent slash fill on. That's what we take off to fill it up. And it's also a vent. So we're just going to use Teflon on that. Seal it up. Way. 
turn the screws on this way so you want to put the thread lock on that way sorry the teflon oh lovely lovely time just give me the pain in my butt i'm just going to go over it twice instructions but this is pretty self-explanatory that's the fusible link for the power oops just want to make sure that it fuses in there extension on this which is this one here but in this case we don't need it So we want to go this way with it. And cross through that, it's just plastic. Housing. I'm going to take this apart. I'm just making sure I don't want to go get more pieces.
good, I believe. No, we're not. workout. Alright. Now, all these fittings together. I had to pick up a few extra fittings. I get this whole thing assembled. Filter wouldn't have been far enough out, it would have been hitting the pump here, so I had to go get a few extra fittings just to push it out a little bit further. So, we got a Tethron, Teflon, Tethron, <laughs> a whole bunch of fittings. Again, same thing, just go over it a couple times. I don't need to put this stuff ridiculously thick. comes in handy. You don't need these crazy, crazy tight. You do want it fairly tight. Next is this one. This is just going to give me out just enough room to get the filter on there. Otherwise, this would have been right there, the filter hitting the pump. Now, very good. In and out. So <laughs> you put that on the right way. That way you're not taking it off like I am and redoing the thread. Right. This part you can probably just secure it by hand. Filter. I'm gonna get a little bit of diesel on there so I don't tear that up when I put this thing on there. Alright, and a fresh layer of diesel on there. Should be good to hand tighten. As long as your hands.
hands aren't slippery like mine. Does it help me tighten it? There we go. Get this out. Our nozzle. Very neat. And the cardboard can be recycled. Same with the label instructions. Alright. So now this hose isn't super long, but it's long enough to do what we need it to do. It's gonna be fun to get it tightened on that. Tells you. Brand new one. Right. Oh, wow. So you guys don't really need to see this. It's pretty straightforward. Um, your uh, your negative, which is your ground, positive power. Um, this here is a fusible link. You definitely need a fusible link. If your pump did not come with one, go pick one up. So there'd be a fuse in here. Um, all I gotta do is connect this to this with the proper uh, waterproof, weatherproof uh, seals on that. And hook this end directly up to the battery and the power. And this one, uh, you can ground in the frame, whatever, wherever you want to put it. But I will be running that directly to the negative, uh, to the ground, on the battery. That way, uh, if there's an issue with the ground, it's it's going to be at the battery. Um, yeah, so you just drop that down in front of your truck and then run it up the frame rail all the way to the battery. Which is what I'm going to do now. Uh, Thought I'd slap this quick little vid together for you guys um, for a couple reasons. One, I'm not digging dirt yet. It's coming though, real soon. Two, I've seen uh, some videos out there on how to install these things. And guys don't put the filter on there. I mean, uh, that's kind of the whole point of having a transfer tank is to filter the, the, the diesel fuel you're putting into your into your equipment. In other words, you might as well just fill up jerry cans and use those dirty jerry cans to fill up all your equipment. I went with this this one because uh, it's only 45 gallon. But I went with this one because this portion is a toolbox. It's about yay deep. Um, I can keep miscellaneous tools in there and it is lockable. There's a key, keys for it. I could squeeze uh, electric grease gun in there. I could keep tubes of grease in there. Um, yeah, that's why I went with this one with the toolbox. And it's only 45 gallon because, well, I can only pull so much weight with this truck. And every now and again, I, uh, well, not every now and again, but at least, God, I, my goodness, I, I would say at least probably, you know, five to 10 times a year, I gotta move my little mini excavator or the 246D skid steer here. Uh, I gotta float it with this truck. Um, and if this thing's full of diesel, I don't wanna be over the weight rating of this truck uh, for towing because the, the 303 that I have, the excavator, that is, I think it's around 83 or 8,400 pounds. Uh, with the extra counterweight and uh, if I bring both my buckets and whatnot. Um, the 246D, that one I'm not 100%, but I know it's a little heavier than my Mini, so it's got to be around 9,000 pounds. So that's the reason I want the, the smaller tank, it's 45 gallon. I could fuel up all of the equipment I own in one tank. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, what I, it's pretty much all that I need. And even if I got uh, bigger like equipment with much bigger tanks, I would still only really want this size. Um, just, just like I said, so I could I could pull a small piece of equipment. But I mean, if I ever didn't knew I never had to do that, 
I would step it up to a 100 gallon tank in a heartbeat. Um, yeah. Again, the brand is UVS. It's it's nice, uh, nice little, uh, nice little transfer tank. Um, also, I'm gonna be bolting this right down, right here, and this bolt uh, mounting at the side there on both sides. So we'll mount that all up properly. Yeah. So, if you guys ever have any questions or anything, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, I've had some people actually get in touch with me through Instagram with some questions, which is awesome. I actually had someone phone me from Sudbury about the 906 because they're looking at buying one for plowing. It was awesome. You know, that I love helping people out. Um, yeah, the whole reason why I do this YouTube, uh, I get to make some friends and I get to help some people out and uh, they learn some things, I learn some things. So yeah, that's, that's why I'm doing the YouTube. Um, one of the reasons. Uh, yeah, so feel free to comment, comment, thumbs up, don't forget to uh, also subscribe as usual. We are going to be moving dirt really soon here guys, it's coming really soon, uh, within the next uh, week I'll be moving some dirt, so we'll have some good uh, dirt videos, so I'm probably already moving dirt by the time this video comes out, so stay tuned for that, uh, a lot of cool, cool projects. Uh, coming up uh, a lot of things that I really don't see on YouTube uh, very much of anyways uh, like I said don't forget to like, comment, subscribe you guys take care catch you on the next one